What is going on my hot shots? Today you guys will be watching a VOD review. I recorded this like two or three weeks ago, but due to my brother's accident, I never actually got to upload it. I didn't upload everything, and I've been really stressed out and busy with helping my brother and everything, and talking to my family, keeping up to date with everything. He's doing better. He should be home in a week or two. If you guys don't know, my brother got an explosion at work, and yeah, he, he got pretty fucked up. He has like third degree burns, which is like the second worst burn you can get other than fourth degree on 15% of his body, it's mostly his face and arms, but he had to get a lot of surgeries done, but he'll be back soon, hopefully. I'll be going home to see him in Montana. I'm in Texas right now, but I'll be back home and see him in Montana here soon. Appreciate the support and the prayers, guys. But like I said, this is a little bit older, so yeah, this is just a little, little now. Look at the beard, it's way thicker than it was before. The beard is gonna be long as fuck here soon, boys. All right, I appreciate you guys. If you guys want your shit body reviewed or anything like that, just become a member of my channel. It's essentially a Twitch, Twitch sub, five dollars a month. My body video, ten dollars. You get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. But immortal every act, except for this one. I don't know why the fuck I can't get past Ascendant. I'm fucking struggling. But I love each and every one of you guys. I am out. Adios. All right. What is going on in my hot shot today? We'll be body reviewing Mr. Arpit. He's an Ascendant three, Ascendant three raise. He's around the same rank as me. We're just gonna body review him. If you guys want your stuff VOD reviewed or you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, become a member on my YouTube channel. It's essentially a Twitch subscriber. You get emotes and stuff for the stream as well. It's a good deal, guys. Good deal. Five dollars a month for five to ten dollars a month for coaching and a VOD review. I think that's a good deal, bro. And I do it once every month. Bro. So me personally, bro, I hate buying fucking no light shot on pistol. I always buy light shield on pistol, even if I'm Marina. Except for Breeze. That's the only map I don't buy light shield. I fucking just like having not getting headshot. I like classics. I think it's annoying as fuck when you get headshot by classics or ghost just one tapped. Yeah, you adjusted your crosshair a little too soon. That's what you did there. I don't know. Very little mistake. I mean, I think since... Since he wasn't holding your shower, I think you're in a really fucked spot. Like, you noticed... You already noticed, like, he wasn't holding your shower. You know what I mean? Like, you noticed, like, there was no one holding your shower because he smoked off. And then you even called it. You said, no one's holding my shower. So if you notice no one's holding an angle, what you should have done is, like, used your boom bot here and then reposition back into lamps. You get what I'm saying? Because, see, you didn't... Because, like, you were just fucked from too many angles because you had short. Not to mention, like, you like you had started adjusting your crosshair because you have expected the dude to be up there, which he was. So that wasn't a bad play to adjust your crosshair. But you got fucked because the rays came, sh like, like down the stairs. So it was... I mean, you recognize what you did wrong. I'm pretty sure you recognize, like, there's no one there. So then if you recognize there's no one there, you got to reposition and get out, you know? Yeah, that's good. I like the satchel there. I don't know, you really did anything wrong there. Honestly, maybe the only thing I think of is like after you got flashed, instead of throwing, I mean that satchel play wasn't bad. You just kind of like mistimed it, but I mean you really couldn't see because you are blind. Maybe just satchel and get out instead of doing that. Just play your life, you know? Because playing your life, I noticed, is like super fucking important. Especially at like this Ascendant rank where like some people are like not as, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of Ascendants that aren't as good or like by account. So I think it's best if you just like reposition with the satchel. Like start playing your life more. That's what I learned. It's helped me improve a lot. I mean, you seem like you're doing pretty good. You've improved a lot, it seems like, bro. Like, a lot, a lot since the last time I bought reviewed you. I think you're, like, diamond. You've actually climbed so much. You're doing very good. Let's see. Oh, you got spammed through smoke. I think the reason you died here, you stepped. So, like, if you would've just kept walking, you would've been fine. Or if you even just satcheled in. But you stepped to, so, like... That was a big mistake there. Like, you should have stepped. Because, like, uh, especially, like, me, knowing me, when I play and shit, if I hear, like, one step, bro, I spam right where I hear steps. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure that's how, like, everyone is at this Ascendant Elo, Immortal Radiant Elo, is, like, once you hear, like, one step, you just fire because you can kind of guess, like, you'll at least hit them for 40 usually or 35, depending on if you're using Fandle or Phantom. But you can usually get at least, like, a little body shot. And that dude got the body shot, which slowed you down, the first body shot, and then after that, you just got fucking spammed. So, yeah, it's just, like... You shouldn't. Yeah, you stepped and he just spammed you because you stepped. I'm pretty sure that's what you said there. I don't know what language you speak. Alright, good. You're learning from your mistakes. I like how you... That's one thing you did a lot before was you play too aggro. I like how like you finally realized like, you should play more passive, bro. Because that was your problem before. A big problem of yours, I remember. So that's good shit that you started doing that. I like that satchel peak. I love doing that satchel peak like that, bro. Uh, it's all good. I appreciate you, bro. I like the satchel peak. Wasn't a bad play, but you're close to your all. I don't think you should have did that. I think you should have just satcheled across and got the info. Because, I mean, 
it was only a 4v3. Maybe it was like 5v3 and you had numbers, like more numbers, but I feel like 4v3 because you made it a 4v, like a, you know what I mean, a 3v3. I mean, it was a good shot nonetheless, but I think it's better if you just get the info. Like, I only do like aggressive peaks like that, like at the beginning of the round, like how you did there, or like fucking like when we have like big numbers, because like, you know what I mean, like you just instantly got traded. Wasn't bad though, you got a kill, but I mean like, now your team's like in, like doesn't have numbers now, you see, like you died, and then someone dies immediately after, now your team doesn't have numbers, you know? You threw the man advantage. Alright, you know how to use your satchels to bot people too. A lot of people that play raises don't know how to like bop. So like, the reason why raises is so strong for like you lower elo players that are watching this video. I'm pretty sure you've seen like Sinatra or someone just like randomly throw like satchels. Or you see like Arpit or me just randomly throw satchels. There's a reason why we do that. So like, if there's an angle that's like not clear, you let it tap, it does a little more damage. Then you peek off that because it bounces you back a little bit. Like see? Like it bounces you back a little bit. Like not as far as raise obviously, but it still bumps you and it'll fuck up your crosshair placement. Especially at this rank. Like, yeah, you see what I mean? Like, it bops you a little bit, and that fucks up your crosshair placement. So, like, if, say, like, you were, like, holding this angle right here, like this, okay, expecting all the rays to peak. You throw that satchel, because he might be holding an off angle or something, and that bops him just a little bit, and then he has to, like, readjust his crosshair, and that can get you a kill easily. Especially, I like, got these higher ranks, where we're also, like, we're also, like, mechanically, like, good at, like, crosshair placement and shit at this rank, you know? Another thing I haven't really seen you do is combo, like, your satchel with your boombot, or with your fucking nade so like a lot of a lot of another thing i like to do personally with raise is i'll throw my satchel like around this or my boom out around this corner and then satchel it up so that way like it it's hard for them to shoot so like i'll like or like like a like a hot choke point so like if like this is smoked off and i hear a bunch coming i'll throw my boom bot like that and throw the satchel so it's harder to shoot and it's more likely to do damage and then same if someone's like in a cubby right here you know you know someone's in a cubby so what i do is i'll throw a nade and then like i'll throw a satchel so like they get bought back into the nade you know that's another thing you guys can do start implementing in your raise games but i really haven't seen you do that much with your util yet you haven't really comboed your satchel with your boom bot yet or your satchel with your nade obviously the satchels are good for movement but i mean i feel like they're, i feel like satcheling someone or like satcheling like that is a better use of a satchel than using it for movement to be honest with you but it's situational. I'm VOD reviewing Mr. Arpit right now. So this is how you can get better is having other people VOD review you and then you VOD review yourself. Like you don't have to pay me if you don't want to, you know what I mean? But like I will VOD review you and show you what you're doing wrong as like a higher level player and explain like what you're doing wrong. Or like coach, literally I'll live coach you as well for a membership. But like just like even like just VOD reviewing yourself. Like I VOD review myself a lot, like especially when I'm editing, I'll like rewatch what I'm doing and see what I'm doing wrong. And you need to be like playing those questions in your head if you want to improve. It just seems like like that's like the oh oh <laughs> why the fuck's the race there bro what i know you tv but why the fuck's that race so far back still that's funny i would not have expected a race to be there with the judge to be honest especially on attack so i think silver's the hardest rank though by far but i think you can still climb it's just like it takes time because i honestly i truly and strongly think silver's the hardest elo to get out of i can't explain it I don't know what it is, but like when I was doing that you were only the diamond challenge back before they added Ascendant, so diamond was like high, the highest other than Immortal, that shit was fucking ass in silver. Like that was hard, the hardest rank by far was that fucking silver elo. I can't even explain it, bro. Like it was just wild, bro. Like it doesn't make sense. Like it makes zero sense. Like bronze was easy. Iron was easy. Gold was easy. Plat was pretty hard. Plat was the second hardest, but fucking that shit was impossible. That shit was actually impossible. And I was like, yeah. Oh, close. That was a good satchel. Uh, use your satchel's good there. You're stepping a little too much though, bro. Yeah, you're kind of stepping a little too much. Someone will easily spam you. So, yeah, like he just swung you because he knew you were, like, obviously the planner, but he also knew you were there, so he knew he had good timing there. That's why he swung, because you stepped. So that's the second time you died from stepping too much. Again, it's very little mistakes, but that's like that's the reason why we're hard stuck is these little mistakes. You know what I mean? Like that's the reason why we're an ascendant and immortal. It's because these little mistakes. I have the same mistakes too, bro. So good nade. You should sat. Ah, uh, I didn't like that there. What you did? You got the nade down, but like they're playing aggro here, so more than likely they're on some sort of an eco. You know what I mean? I didn't really check their economy prior, but I mean if you know their eco, especially. He could just swing out with a judge or like a shorty or like a bucky, you know, and just get one kill for free. So I think you should have satched him and pushed him back so that we couldn't didn't have the opportunity to swing. I get like your is pushing, but I think it would have better just to satchel there to confirm the kill, you get what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times, like on ecos, like one kill can change the whole course of a round, you know what I mean? 
Did, I can't tell. In this situation, because they have an enemy Sky, like if they have an enemy Sky, Reyna, anyone that can like flash really fast, you know? You need to have someone playing counter flash. Hold on, let me go to the other side of the map. So I can explain this to like the lower level players. You know what I mean, but like I want to explain to the lower level players. Alright, so like with like Sky, KO, you know what I mean? Like any agent that can really has like a good flash, you know? You want to have one person that you're playing with run like this, so in case they flash, they can turn around and kill them instantly, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times they're going to like, say this is a flash, they're going to like flash off that and then peek, you know what I mean? So like if you have someone playing counter flash like this, they won't get flashed, they turn around, they should have a free kill because they're not going to expect them though, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know if your sub was playing counter flash or not, but that's one thing I think you need to have happen there, is your sub playing counter flash. You did timing him, but yeah, I just just get that keep that in mind for next time. Doing really good though, bro. You've improved so much since the last time I watched you, bro. Like honestly, like you've made such a big jump. Like I'm fucking proud of you, Sal. This is like what my third or fourth time body viewing you, and you've made like fucking crazy improvements. The only thing is your utility timing. That's the thing you need to work on is like timing your util properly, because it seems like you just like throw your like at least this game you weren't like throwing your nades like at the right time, or you weren't like boom bodying like the right time. It would be like a second or two late, or even a little bit too early. You know what I mean? Oh poor Sova, bro. Oh, I thought someone was gonna take more damage from that. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. So personally, me, I don't really like. So like, I used to have this issue where I'd always satchel in without util. I like to satchel with some sort of util. So like, I don't know. Your Sova drone or Sova arrow, you should satchel with and have your race flash for you. Because that's kind of why you got fucked there. You had no util with you. Like you're just satcheling in, hoping you're having a one, one one fight and catch him off guard. Which you got the jet, but the guy was there. It wasn't bad, but I mean, it's better if you can play off your util, especially at like higher ranks, you know? Overall, wasn't bad. Like I said, it's just like your utility timing and then comboing your util. Like, that's the only thing you need to work on. Like, you've improved like so fucking much. It's fucking ridiculous. But, like I said, guys, if you guys want your stuff body reviewed or you guys just want coaching, be a member of my YouTube channel, guys. The rules will be in the, like, in the rules section of the actual membership itself. I appreciate you guys for watching. I love each and every one of you guys. I am out. Adios. Okay.